Hey, what's up guys, Phil here from Inspire Fitness. So in this video series, what we do is we take some of your favorite foods and turn them into some macro-friendly options. So today we got an awesome bulgogi recipe. We're be looking to make it to a high protein, low fat. We're gonna be looking to change the macros from this to this. So let's get cooking, guys. Bulgogi is definitely one of those staple dishes in Korean food. It's super popular, but the one problem with it is that it has a lot of carbs and a lot of fats. So what we're gonna be doing in this dish is we're gonna be changing it up by using different cuts of meat. So what we got here is a beautiful eye of round. Uh, it's a lot less fat than usual. You can usually expect the ratio from fat to protein and steak to be around one to one, which is not good because fats are way more calorically dense. But uh, what you want to do here is you want to cut as thin as you can. What really helps is if you put this meat in the freezer for about 30 minutes. I didn't even put it in there long enough, but once you do, it's really easy to cut. So aside from the eye around steak, you want to just use a little bit of this sirloin right here. Uh, sirloin has around 12 grams of fat per 23 grams of protein. So it's like a one to two ratio, which is a little better compared to like the ribeyes or, you know, the briskets. So um, a little bit of sirloin is totally fine. I find that eye around just by itself, especially if you grill it over a pan, can be a little overbearing, a little tough. So adding just a little bit of fat into this mix uh, really helps out with this dish. So for the marinade, we got about a quarter of a kiwi, half an apple, and about one quarter of an onion, and it's gonna make a really flavorful marinade. So kiwis have an enzyme that breaks up the collagen of beef, and it's gonna be really important for the eye of brown because it's gonna be tough without this, so make sure you only use a quarter here. So just get your little tablespoon or teaspoon or whatever you have and just scoop it out. A quarter is plenty here, um, any more than that, and it's gonna kind of make the beef kind of soggy and it's pretty gross. So just a quarter is totally fine here. So just get a regular apple and cut it in half. Just the half is fine here. This is Mama Pack's recipe, so you know it's gonna be good. Uh, apple, she says apple adds a lot of flavor, so whatever she says, I believe. So up next, we're just gonna cut up like any regular onion that you have. And uh, what this is gonna do is gonna add a little bit acidity to this dish, which is much needed. And what we're gonna do from here, we're just gonna cut into these little quarter pieces because most likely your blender can't really process them uh, unless you have like a ninja. But yeah, that's all we really need. So these three are really the best combination for a good bulgogi marinade. Uh, yeah, just add these three in and we're gonna be adding some more ingredients after this. So up next, we got this Korean garlic. I really don't know what they do to this guys, but it's just it's just so much better somehow. Um, it's just like normal garlic, but it's just works so well in marinades and in Korean foods. And we're gonna put a ton of it in here to make it really flavorful. So up next, we got this monk fruit sweetener. Um, this is really great because it adds a lot of sweetness without adding any extra calories from carbs or sugar. Um, we just used around two tablespoon, tablespoons for this, but you can honestly use three because monk fruit sweetener is a lot less sweet than normal sugar. So yeah, uh, it's gonna add a lot of flavor without adding any extra calories. So up next, we got a one fourth cup of soy sauce. Try to find this Chinese style, like high quality soy sauce. It really makes a big difference. You don't wanna just go for that kikoman. Um, what we got here is a half cup of water or else it's gonna be really salty. So just kind of mix that in and you got this awesome base for the marinade. So the rest is pretty simple. You just wanna put that soy sauce water uh, solution into that marinade and then just kind of blend it up till you get to this point where it looks like a smoothie. It's gonna be a lot less thick than a smoothie, but um, a lot of that is gonna be some really good flavor, a lot of good sweetness and a lot of good acidity coming from those fruits and those onions. So as soon as it's blended up, you just wanna pour it into a bowl and to strain it because all of that has a lot of sugar in there, you know, coming from the apples and the kiwi and a little bit from the onions. But what happens if you leave this in here is that all those things are gonna burn because they have a way less cook time than the beef. So you're gonna get these little black bits and it's gonna be really bitter and it's gonna kind of ruin the dish if you don't do this. You can definitely add these in the last stages of your, of your cooking, uh, but better to kind of avoid that. So it's just pretty simple from here guys. We just wanna get that beef that we cut up from earlier. Just put it in the marinade. We wanna leave it in the fridge for at least one hour and no longer than three hours or it's gonna get really mushy in there. So it's pretty simple from here. Just kind of mix it all up and it's gonna smell so amazing at this point. We got a lot less fat in this marinade than there is usually and there's a ton less sugar. So you can expect this to be really healthy and really delicious. So after we put that bulgogi in the marinade for around one hour, we actually put this in for two hours and that was perfect. The meat was so tender from that kiwi. Um, you know, it really got broken down because of the enzyme. I forgot what it was called, but um, there's an enzyme in there that really uh, tenderizes it. 
So what's important here is that you want to make sure that you don't put too much of that marinade or that solution into the pan as you cook. So what's going to happen is it's going to boil the beef and it's not going to be really good because that texture isn't there. And we want that really nice kind of crispiness and uh, you know that kind of crust when we cook the beef. So to avoid that, don't put too much liquid in there and really make sure that it gets a nice caramelized crust. So as you can see, all that liquid is gone. And what happens now is that that beef can take its time to really form a crust and really improve its texture on this dish. So it wouldn't really be boogie without a little bit of green onion mixed into this. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna add two things. One, well, this is gonna make it look good, you know, with a lot of color, that green and that brown contrast looks really nice. And also it's gonna add a lot of freshness. Um, this is gonna really be needed in such a hearty dish like boogie. So that's really it guys from start to finish this maybe took like 10 to 15 minutes total minus the two hours to marinate the beef but um, this is going to be part one of our korean barbecue series what we want to do is show how you can eat healthier at korean barbecue and how you can choose a little bit of macro friendly options so um, the first episode is going to be bulgogi if you want to learn more about korean barbecue and how to eat healthier there you can check out our blog at aspirefitnesswalnut.com slash blog is korean barbecue healthy and yeah if you like the video feel free to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one guys